reactions and think. That is important. We will always have emotions of fear and greed. From here on in, it's imperative for you to use those emotions to your advantage, and for the long term to not let your emotions control your thinking. An asset is something that puts money in my pocket whether I work or not. A liability is something that takes money out of my pocket. Find out how much money invested per month, for how many months, at a realistic rate of return it will take to reach your goals of retiring, creating cash flow, and gaining financial freedom. Invest in your greatest asset your mind before investing in stocks or real estate. An employee with a safe, secure job, without financial aptitude, has no escape. Why the middle class struggle The middle class finds itself in a constant state of financial struggle. Their primary income is through their salary. As their wages increase, so do their taxes. Their expenses tend to increase in proportion to their salary increase, hence, the phrase the rat race. They treat their home as their primary asset, instead of investing in income-producing assets. Work to learn don't work for money. The number one expense for most people is taxes. Many people think it's income tax, but for most Americans, their highest tax is social security. As an employee, it appears as if the social security tax combined with the Medicare tax rate is roughly 7.5%, but it's really 15% since the employer must match the social security amount. In essence, it is money the employer can't pay you. What if the economy crashes right after I invest? What if I lose control and I can't pay the money back? What if things don't go as I planned? Or we have friends or loved ones who will remind us of our shortcomings. They often say, what makes you think you can do that? If it's such a good idea, how come someone else hasn't done it? That will never work. You don't know what you're talking about. These words of doubt often get so loud that we fail to act. Fear is the main reason that people say, play it safe. That goes for anything, be it sports, relationships, careers, or money. Education is what you learn after you leave school. This educated middle class subscribes to the dogma put out by mutual fund brokers and financial planners, play it safe. Avoid risk. A credit card comes in the mail. They use it and max it out. A loan company calls and says their greatest asset, their home, has appreciated in value. Because their credit is so good. The company offers a bill consolidation loan and tells them the intelligent thing to do is clear off the high interest consumer debt by paying off their credit card. And besides, mortgage interest is a tax deduction. They go for it, and pay off those high interest credit cards. They breathe a sigh of relief. Their credit cards are paid off. They've now folded their consumer debt into their home mortgage. Their payments go down because they extend their debt over 30 years. It is the smart thing to do. Term Definitions 401k, a U.S. retirement plan developed by the ERISA Act of 1974 when companies realized they could not provide for retirees' health care. Asset something that puts money in your pocket with minimum labor. Balance sheet, the lower part of an income statement diagram, so-called because it's supposed to balance assets against liabilities. 
cash flow, cash coming in, as income, and cash going out, as expenses. It is the direction of cash flow that determines whether something is income, expense, asset, or liability. Cash flow tells the story. Financial aptitude, what you do with the money once you make it, how to keep people from taking it from you, how to keep it longer, and how to make that money work hard for you. Golden Rule, he who has the gold makes the rules. Learning skills outside what you think of as your profession will benefit you. I've learned the truth and wisdom in Rich Dad's words. So much of life is out of our control. I've learned to focus on what I do have control over, myself. And if things must change, first I must change. When a person says, I need to find a job, it's most likely an emotion doing the thinking. Fear of not having money generates that thought. Fear is all too often doing the thinking. Will a job be the best solution to this fear over the long run? No. A job is a short-term solution to a long-term problem. People make the recommendation of a job out of fear. President Obama paid approximately 30% of his income in taxes and Governor Romney paid less than 13% in taxes, Mitt Romney began the downhill slide that would cost him the election. Taxes, again, were a focal point in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Rather than find out how people like Mitt Romney and President Donald Trump pay less in taxes legally, the poor and middle class get angry. While President Trump promises to reduce taxes for the poor and middle class, the reality is the rich will always pay less in taxes. The reason the rich pay less in taxes goes back to Rich Dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. As long as a person works for money, they will pay taxes. Even when presidential candidate Hillary Clinton was promising to raise the taxes on the rich, she was promising to raise the taxes on those with high incomes people like doctors, actors, and lawyers not the real rich.